Welcome all. So yes, this is a little detailed video for Mahashivratri 2024, which is coming on the 8th of March 2024, of course. And uh, I know YouTube is flooded with so many things about Mahashivratri. So what is new in this video? New people must be wondering. But I will be talking about something that everyone can do without even uh, for that matter, people who have some health problems and they cannot be awake the whole night of the Shivratri. It is okay. You don't have to feel guilty about the thing that I'm not able to, uh, you know, be awake the whole night. And that's okay. See, uh, the, the deities and the God and the goddesses, they, they believe and they always uh, consider your intentions to be the topmost priority. Okay. It is with the bhav, the, the kind of intention, the kind of emotion you have towards them okay it doesn't matter that how many number of hours you're putting in the worship but it's the quality and it is the love and the affection and the devotion that counts so even if you have the devotion and uh, love in the true form for a couple of minutes also that also gets in a lot of attention and a lot of blessings from the deity so don't ever feel guilty that is one i really want to talk about this because many of you have written to us that we are feeling so guilty guru didi because these days on youtube everybody is talking about you know being awake in the night and it's just not possible for us so um we really feel bad about that thing no i've cleared this fact now okay now in now now you have to understand what you can do so that you get a lot of blessings from Lord Shiva and uh, Parvati Ma also. So see, <clears throat> it's a very small thing, but a very effective thing. You collect some mud and sand, mix it together. And uh, if it can actually be from uh, the Ganges area, the Gangaji area, the Rishikesh area or Uttarakhand area, it's amazing. But even if it's not possible, it's okay. Normal mud and sand you can collect. It should be clean and make a shivling in your house in a maybe in a silver plate or in a mud plate, uh, avoid the steel plate and um, make a small shivling with that and consider that the mud shivling and consider that to be the shivling for the night or for the morning whenever you have to do the puja for Lord Shiva. Now uh, you will do the Abhishekas on that particular shivling. Okay, the Panchamrit which is there. You can make make Panchamrit in your house. There's a video on how to make Panchamrit on this channel. Mahakali Vedic Healing Shelter. You can go and refer to that. <coughs> you can also do the Abhisheka with the, the plain water. Add little, uh, you know, drops of Ganga Jal into it. Otherwise, plain water is also fine. You can also do the Abhisheka with the black sesame seeds. Just put like a little bit of black sesame seed in the water the kalash and you can just do the abhisheka of lord shiva with this also and you can enchant whatever um, you know om namah shivai or whichever mantra that you feel like or mahamrityunjaya jap you can do of lord shiva and um, this is what you should be doing another important thing is this that once you're done with your japas and your abhishekas then the next morning now, it really depends on how much capacity you have for the japas. So, number of hours, that's up to you. But the next morning of uh, the Shivratri, when it ends, okay, the next day, you do the Visarjana of the shivling that you have made. Like, pour some, uh, you know, water, excess of water, and it will dissolve by itself in that patra or in the plate that you have taken, the vessel that you've taken. And then you do the Visarj Visarjana either in a clean uh, you know uh, pot your planters that you have in that or under the people tree you can go and do the visarjana there okay <coughs> also i always say that on shivratri or mahashivratri uh, night or day you should be donating some uh, food items some clothes to uh, the dogs for the dogs for the animals because it's pashupati but pashupati nath in kal bhairav right so remembering that rupa of lord shiva you should be donating this something for the voiceless now those can be any animals okay it's not necessarily only the dogs or the cows each and every pashu that's why it's like pashu patinath right so um, then the shakti and shiv shiv shakti both will be very happy so even if you're able to do this on mahashivratri 
minus your health problems minus the number of hours that you are were feeling guilty about it is just more than enough and trust me this will be a very strong <coughs> blessing and a very good karma that you will be adding in your karmic account okay so try doing this i know there are lot many things on youtube which are available but this is something that each one of us can do okay and even if you can't do the abhisheka on the uh, shivling that you have to make it's okay donate just light a diya do uh, the aarti of uh, shivji and then donate for the dogs and for the animals that is something that will also get you a lot of blessings okay so that's about it i'll see you next week with another good topic till then goodbye and jai ma kali and happy shivratri to everybody